At first glance, this might look like a typical classroom. How are X and Y related? But something's missing. Technology. Walking through the Washington Waldorf School, you feel like you're traveling back in time. With limited technology, students use chalkboards and even handwrite their notes. And get this, cell phones, those aren't allowed. I don't think technology is a negative thing at all, but it can be an inhibiting factor of, to people's lives. Before school starts, Ben Maurer does something many teens don't do. He puts away his phone. Whenever I try to go cold turkey, it's just like amazing how much more I can focus. Ben and his classmates give their teachers their undivided attention. Why is it important for students to learn with limited technology? Well, it's really important because what we want students to do is to develop their imagination and their independent thinking in a way that allows them to engage in the moment. Young people today spend an average of nine hours a day using tech for fun, and that doesn't even include things like using computers in school. One study showed half of students 8 to 18 are using some form of media while they are doing homework. And if you're like me, you probably get stressed out when you aren't attached to tech, right? In a 2016 survey, half of teens felt addicted to their smartphones. Internet or video game addiction have been defined as actual psychological disorders, which affect the brain similar to drug addiction. Some scientists say all that tech is actually rewiring your brain. The brain has this amazing way of adapting very specifically to the things that we do day in and day out. So many of those things which are affected by technology, that's going to change your brain. The constant distractions and dependence on tech make it harder to retain information. Several studies suggest young people today are more forgetful than previous generations. Question for you, do you know your mother's phone number? I do know my mom's phone number. Okay, do you know your best friend's phone number? I don't know my best friend's phone number. Wow. I don't, it's bad. <laughs> you have to think about it critically, so you might go, I really don't need to memorize all of these phone numbers anymore. It was absolutely important for my grandmother to do that. For me, it is not important because the vast majority of the time I will have access to my phone. But other studies find it could actually make us smarter. So if you're the type of person that learns better from listening to an audio recording instead of reading in a textbook, technology allows people who have different learning styles to engage in the learning that's most effective for them. But sometimes going back to basics is the way key concepts stick. There's more of an advantage to chalkboard. You see how they write something. There's more of like a human connection. Many believe we should rewire our thinking, looking at our smartphones, computers, and tablets as tools, not essentials. Technology has its place, but we can overuse it. Somehow we should teach everyone to recognize the value of not having it so that then they can choose it. Clicking in and out of a tech-heavy world. Ariel Hickson, Channel One News.